Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to do an Italian rice dish called a risotto, okay? Uh, for this you're going to need some nice white raw and grain rice, chopped up onion, a little bit of garlic, uh, some wine of your choosing. We've already discussed that in our other videos. And you're going to need, I have just an Italian blend of frozen vegetables. That's no big deal. That's just an addition. Uh, there's actually a lot of different ways of doing a risotto. Oh, you'll need butter too, by the way. Now, basically what a risotto is, is you take, there's already uh, two tablespoons of oil in there, and to that we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. What risotto is, is you take the rice, and you fry it up with garlic, and butter, I mean garlic and uh, onion and butter. until it's nice and creamy. It's not quite a fried rice. It's more of a creamy rice side dish type deal. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be frying the mushroom. Uh, frying the mushrooms. Although you can't add mushrooms. A nice mushroom risotto is beautiful. But, we're coating all the rice with the oil and butter. Should have let the butter melt a little bit more, but it'll go. We're actually going to make, we're going to cook the onions until they're both golden. I say we're, we're going to cook the rice until it's golden. Oop. Basically just continue stirring. We don't want it to stick. But as we don't want to stir too much because we want the rice to start to change color. We want the rice to go to a nice golden color. Let's fast forward a bit because it's going to take a while. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting to change color. Uh, you can see that if you just leave it sit for a bit, the stuff in the bottom, starts to get a little bit brown, which is sort of a goldenish color. You know, you just give it a little toss when you see that happening. We just want to continually move the stuff from the bottom to the top. <laughs> it started from the bottom, now it's here. <laughs> okay, we don't want to burn the rice, we just want to move stuff around. And then put it back on a sort of a flat, even plane like this. Okay, as you, if you'll notice, uh, onion is also cooking, so we'll just fast forward till it's done. Okay, and here we have it about where we want it, so we're going to add in <laughs> they clump. Ugh. Just going to add those in. This will drop the temperature and keep the rice from cooking any further. What we're doing here, <laughs> it says it's a frozen variety, this is actually just going to thaw them, basically. What this is, is just, it, it's zucchini and carrot, uh, cut green peas, actually I can read the bag. Uh, it's an excellent source of vitamin A, apparently. Uh, orange and yellow carrots, romano beans, green zucchini, red bell peppers, and lima beans. I almost call them lima beans. Ha! And honestly, I don't really keep those type of vegetables in the kitchen at all times. Well, carrots. But zucchini and stuff, I'm not a fan usually. So I find it's advantageous to just have a, a bag of frozen in the freezer for when I want to do stuff like this. Okay. Now, we're going to cook this a little bit until the vegetables are thawed, right? And then, give them a little bit of cooking with the oil. Basically, stir them every once in a while, make sure that it doesn't get burnt. Uh, we'll fast forward to that part. Okay, now everything's thawed. And the vegetables are cooked a little in the oil. To this, we're going to add about a cup of wine. Hmm. 
<laughs> you know the old expression, a cup for the pot and a cup for the cook. What we're going to do is we're just going to cook the wine down and make sure that everything gets a little taste. And now this isn't actually cooking the rice, this is just giving the vegetables in the rice a little bit of a wine flavor. You're going to reduce this completely until there's no wine left at all. You want to turn it down to just a little bit of a simmer at this point because uh, you want to like get as much of that starch out of the rice as possible because the starch and the liquid is actually what makes this creamy. Okay, so we're going to skip ahead to that. Okay, now the wine has cooked down considerably. To this, I'm going to add some stock. I'm using powdered chicken stock, but if you have beef or turkey or whatever stock you happen to have, it is wonderful. About two cups of liquid. Oh, sorry. Remember, with rice, see how it's already kind of thickened? That's the starch from the rice. Basically, we're going to leave this on a simmer until it's cooked. That might take about 20 minutes, okay? Hey, sorry about being loud. Okay, boys and girls, and there we have it. We have the finished product. This is a nice, delicious, easy to make risotto. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up. Uh, leave any questions or comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye.